one of the issues with ASTM F2170, I, I don't say an issue because it's not an issue with the test. I, I, the test itself is very, very good. In my view, it's a very good test. But the issue is how it's understood. The example that I give is people think it's something similar to measuring the tire pressure on a car. You know, if the tire pressure keeps increasing, increasing, eventually the tire is just going to pop and it's going to burst. And sometimes people think 2170 is like that. You know, if we get if it's high enough, the floor is going to pop. But that's not the way it is. It's you're measuring the relative humidity that is in equilibrium with the material that you're testing. So you're isolating an airspace, allowing that to equalize with the material, and then measuring the relative humidity of that airspace. So it gives you a good, really good indication of the construction water from the concrete or moisture that's coming up into the concrete without any environmental effect or anything else. And that's problematic because the environment can lead to flooring issues and we see that more often than not where uh, environmental issues contribute to the moisture that's in the concrete. So 2170 needs to be combined with other testing and that's why our kits always have always supplied these different tests for the concrete to know the overall condition of the concrete. Like a doctor, if you went to a doctor and they took your blood pressure and, and your temperature and you know your heart rate, they're not the same thing, but they do give you an indication of the health of your body. You know, or, So similarly, if we were looking at the health of concrete, which is much simpler than your body, you look at these different variables and then you can make a decision. And it's getting to the point now where if we know what the moisture content in the top three quarters of an inch of the concrete is, we know what the relative humidity is, we know what the ambient humidity is and the surface temperature, and we know what the in situ moisture content is, we can pretty much answer all the questions, you know, all the potential issues that can cause a, a floor to fail. If you do relative humidity testing on its own, you miss a lot of those issues. But if you add time of install testing, you pick up then a lot of those potential problems.